It's been said that all new art is based on what's been done in the past. A good example of this is Seattle artist Nori Sato. Her abstract print and video works are strikingly modern, but influenced by ancient Japanese artistic techniques and values. Tonight, Denny Muchi has more on this unique artist. Don't adjust your TV set. You're looking at art. This is Seattle artist Nori Sato. Her work, print, video, and installation comments on the popular medium of television. I have sort of this love-hate relationship with it. Um, on one hand, I really love the feeling of the electrons. I love the intangible nature of the image. I love the light that comes out from the screen. And I love the image quality that the screen puts out. But in general, I hate what's on television. This may be electronic snow to you, but to Sato, it's inspiration for abstract art. The part I like about video is the part that engineers hate. In fact, I, some people actually have called me the electronic junk collector. Does an engineer appreciate this kind of art? Sure about as much as a classical music lover appreciates rock and roll. Um, what am I looking I think, at? I think you might have to roll back. OK. He's a pretty good video artist. I know you, you're kind of into video, video art. Video artist. OK. Um. Well, um, <clears throat> maybe I'm not qualified to judge art. I'm just a just a mere videotape editor. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I don't mean to laugh, but <laughs> I, I guess as art, it it would serve the purpose. As video, it it looks real bad. <laughs> well, Nori, you can't win them all. This looks like bad. But among national art critics, Sato's work is well recognized. It's delicate, distinctive work. She brushes her pictures with silver powder, making them glow like a faintly lit television screen. Sato works in a converted warehouse near the Seattle waterfront. On some levels, it's therapeutic. And, but basically, it's a lot of work. It's, it's not play in the way that a lot of people think that painting is, you know, fun to do and all that kind of stuff. Sato carefully incorporates Asian methods and materials into her work. I use Japanese paper, I use some Japanese techniques, and a lot of it has come from training that I received and the interest in that because I was Japanese. With such an Asian influence and these subdued colors, Sato's work has often been labeled as from the Northwest School. She says that that is not entirely accurate. I guess people read into work what they want, and they say, well, it's gray, it looks foggy, so it must be Northwest, even though in the end it really doesn't have anything to do with the actual fog out there. It's video art that Nori ultimately enjoys producing. For visual artists, and there isn't much in terms of improvising with a group, and video allows for that. Part of video that I really like is that it's always unpredictable. Even though you think you have a certain amount of control over the machine, sometimes it takes over and you get these unexpected things. What is ahead for Nori Sato, recently called one of America's 20 most promising young artists? As we say in television, stay tuned. Denny Yamuchi, Third World. Well, Nori Sato's works can be seen in a group showing at the Linda Ferris Gallery through November 10th. And we'll be right back with more of Third World.